Aloha everybody. My name is Thor Dierensborg at Thorganic on YouTube at King Thorganic on Instagram. And uh, this here is going to be the first vlog. And so I'm really excited to share this vlog with you. Uh, my intention with this vlog, which I am planning on doing about five days a week, is to just give you uh, little glimpses and insights into what is going on in my vortex and in my life and to hopefully share with you some of the lessons, the wisdom and the teachings that I am receiving and moving through along the way in my, uh, my own personal journey and hopefully some of those reflections and uh, some of that love that I'm able to share through my life will ripple out into the world and, and uh, help you along your way in your process with whatever you are going through and growing through. And so I believe this is going to be a beautiful, um, beautiful unfolding for, for us. And, and I look forward to building community through this and to really be using this platform to uh, elevate and activate people and heal people into... Um, you know, the collective awakening that is, is really happening on our planet right now. So to give you guys some context, um, Noi and I, Noi Lenny, my partner, and I, we just got back from Peru. We spent two weeks in Peru. Uh, we have some wonderful content that uh, we're going to be sharing on our Instagram reels as well as TikTok regarding that experience. But Overall, it was a very humbling experience. Uh, we sat with the grandmother medicine ayahuasca, and this was the second time that I've personally sat in ceremony with her. And wow, I just had profound downloads and was just so grateful and, and humbled, you know, for life. And one of the biggest lessons that I want to share with you guys today from my journey is really like along the lines of of community right and and getting away from the ego and so in my life i really realized on the medicine how egocentric i have really been and how much i have really just been selfish and self-absorbed you know i remember not too long ago before the medicine i would be looking in the mirror um 20 times a day, you know, making sure my hair is good or making sure I look good and trying to validate and accept myself. And, and while that may be positive in the journey of self-love, I realized that I had become very me-centric, that everything was me, that I had built this life and I was the one that, you know, became an entrepreneur and made a million dollars and and built this big business and it was all like ego. It was like, yeah, like like I wanted to have the pride to be that guy and on the medicine what I realized was that that's so not true you know it's not true for me and it's not true for anybody I had on my Instagram that I was a self-made millionaire but to me after sitting with the medicine that just felt like BS because I'm not self-made and nobody is you know, and, and in a sense, like, yeah, of course, you, you build yourself up and you're the one that do, does the work. But from another perspective, we are all created collectively through other people, right? And so in my culture, we have a very deep sense of respect for our parents, for example. Uh, and in some other cultures, you know, specifically in American culture, like people don't really have that type of respect for their parents. A lot of um, Caucasian people end up putting their parents in nursing homes and they feel this sense of separation between them and their parents but from one perspective it's like you wouldn't be here I wouldn't be here without my parents so what how can I quantify that what do I owe my parents for giving me life and and if you expand that philosophy out into your entire life well everyone that comes into your life is special life itself is special and precious and can be taken away at any moment and so anybody that you come across and come in contact with that is a sacred special energetic exchange because life is precious and and should be honored 
right? And so I realized that everyone in my life, every person that touched my life, every person in my business, whether it was the guy that was there for three months and didn't really do shit, but somehow there was something that they did that they contributed that added to me being to where I'm at today and all of us collectively being to where us where we are today, right? So with that perspective, man, I was just so humbled and I, I, I really felt like bowing down to all the people in my life, to my friends, my family, to all my all my employees and everyone on the on the Engro team and in the Engro community that like, wow, I am so grateful. Thank you so much for all this opportunity for allowing me to be where I am today, to be able to serve and to give and to lift up the planet to the best of my abilities. None of this would be possible but without all of us, without you, without my team and without everyone around me. So thank you, everybody. I just take this moment to give my utmost gratitude. I bow down to all of you. Thank you so much for for being who you are. And um, for all of you guys watching, welcome to the first vlog. Thank you so much for being here. The light in me honors the light in you. We're building something really special and I'm really excited to share um, my offerings to, to you guys. So, mahalo ke akua, mahalo e na akua, mahalo uh, kapuna, mahalo um, almakua, and uh, hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Love and light, high vibrations, elevating, and grow universe. This is how we do it. My name is Thor Dierensborg at Thorganic at King Thorganic. Give us a follow, click the like button. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.